Hello everyone. So this is the interview questions and approach video of XSS. So basically, if you try to go anywhere to apply into any kinds of cybersecurity consultant or analyst position, or you go across any interview for web application pen testing, they generally ask questions about OWASP and XSS. So understanding the interview questions for XSS is very important. So in this slide, we are going to cover some of the famous interview questions and how you should tackle them. So I have listed down basically very important six questions that are very important to answer. And you should know the approach that what the interviewer is asking from you. So the first question is, why XSS and how it happens. For this, the interviewer is trying to ask you that, do you know what is the root cause of XSS? In this question, you don't have to start blindly saying XSS is cross-site scripting and it happens because the application is not properly validating. In this question, you have to be specific that why XSS is so prevalent. In this, you have to be on the developer perspective and you have to give the answer that why many applications worldwide is vulnerable to XSS. Although giving the definition of XSS is important, but why it happens is also very important. Okay, so you can say, for example, XSS is a vulnerability which occurs because of no input sanitization or no proper encoding of data into any application. The root cause is JavaScript. All the applications in the world works on JavaScript. If any attacker is able to load his arbitrary JavaScript into the application and the application interprets it, then the application is vulnerable to cross-site scripting attack. This is this answers the second part that is how it happens. Next question. What is the severity of XSS? In this question, the interviewer tries to know that what is the depth of penetration that you can perform using XSS or how you can escalate the severity of XSS bug that you have found out. By this, the interviewer wants to know that what is the last step and approach that you will do if you found XSS and how you can make it to a P0 level bug. So your approach should be the severity of XSS can be very, very dangerous. By doing a proper cookie stealing, you can also do account takeovers. Also with the help of XSS, you can do vertical and horizontal privilege escalation and so on. There are, there are many, many test cases that you can perform, which includes account takeover, privilege escalation, keyloggers, phishing, etc. Next, what are the types of XSS and which is the most dangerous one? By this question, the interviewer wants to know that you know thorough about XSS and what are the types? Have you done hands-on on all the types of XSS practically? And according to you, he wants to know that which is the dangerous one and which you tend to find more. So for this question, your answer should be first, the types of XSS are three. As you already know, the first one is reflected XSS, second one is stored XSS, and the third one is DOM based XSS. Which is the most dangerous type? It depends on the situation and scenario that you have found the XSS on. According to me, the most dangerous XSS is the stored XSS. Why? Because you just have to store the payload once into the server and anyone who visits it become vulnerable. I would like to give an example for, let's say, Facebook was vulnerable to stored XSS and I upload a picture and into the comment box I write, please see this picture, here is an interesting comment. Anyone who comes to see that comment will automatically be become vulnerable and I will be able to get his cookie. That's why stored XSS is very dangerous. But again, 
This depends on the situation that you have been given and the application you want to test for. Next question. Explain XSS to 10 year old kid, HR and a red team member. In this question, the inter interviewer wants to know that you have been from base to level 10 in XSS. Are your basis or your ground really very very clear about XSS? So you can tackle this question by explaining XSS to a 10 year old kid by saying you can log in into anyone's account without their username and password. In this scenario you are basically trying to explain cookie stealer uh, how you can do an account takeover. If you want to explain XSS to an HR you can explain through a business perspective by saying if we do not fix the XSS vulnerability into our website any attacker or hacker can hack everyone's account and they can do transactions illegal transactions or some malicious activities through which there can be a very big business loss repetition loss into the market and we can lose our shares etc explaining this to a red team member wouldn't be much difficult for you as the person already knows the technicality and the severity of the bug so the next question different ways to achieve xss if script or alert tags are blocked there are many examples to answer this question and in this question the interviewer wants to know that have you performed different different ways of xss have you used different event handlers have you used different types of payloads are you aware about mouse payloads are you aware about polyglots so for this you can say if script tag or alert if script tags are blocked you can use image based payloads audio based payloads payload, video based payloads, SVG payload, etc. or mouse over payloads. For the other part that is if alert tags are blocked, you can be like instead of alert tags you can use confirm, you can use prompt, etc. So the last question is what is the fix of this vulnerability? So we already discussed what are the mitigations of this XSS vulnerability in the previous video. You can refer to that video. So the basic answer for this to sum up will be encoding, proper input sanitization, validation, and a WAF. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much.